I am Faiza Mukhtar from Belt One Road Media. I am going to meet today name of person Sayyid Nihal Hashmi. He belongs to the PML Noon Party. Sayyid Nihal Hashmi born 28 January 1960. Is a Pakistani politician who has been a member of the Senate of Pakistan from March 2015 to Feb 2018. Born 28 January 1960, profession politician, lawyer. Our media representative says Glenn will ask a few questions about his Park China friendship. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Belt Media One Road ke saath main hoon Sayyid Saklan. Aur aaj ke jo hamare mehman hai, bila shuba aur beeshak wo kisi taaruf ke mohtaaz nahi hai. Hamare saath maujood hai member of Senate Special Committee on China Pakistan Economic Corridor and also Senator of Pakistan, Janab Sayyid Nihal Ashmi Sahib. Nihal Ashmi Sahib, thank you very much for giving us our time. I am very thankful for your time and thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your time. Sir, as you have given us our association, we have been working on a campaign on a campaign Pakistan-China relationship. And on a Pakistan-China culture development program, we have been working on a lot of work. So sir, this is your specialty. Because you are a member of the Senate Special Committee, which is made on the CPEC. Sir, I would like to ask you, what do you look at the CPEC from the CPEC and what do you look at the China-Pakistan relationship from the CPEC? In the name of the name of the CPEC, first of all, Pak-China friendship is alive. Secondly, the relation between Pakistan and China is not new. The boundage between these two countries and these two regions is of not centuries but of thousands and thousands of years through Silk Road and this region to that region. And region to region, trade is also very uh, old and innocent uh, and genuine. So this was uh, with the passage of time improved and, and finally it was strengthened and make a bounding and a, uh, a place where one can say that uh, Pakistan and China are iron brothers. That was signed a treaty or an agreement between these two countries. Uh, His Excellency uh, President Xi Jinping of People's Republic of China and His Excellency Prime Minister Pakistan, Mia Muhammad Nawaz Sharif, they jointly signed this agreement and we, for the upliftment and prosperity and bounding the relation with trade, commerce and economic activities, with culture and our tradition. And formally we called it Pak China Pakistan Economic Corridor. So, just we give a name, a brand to international community that this much we are close. It covers not only economic corridor, but it, is, it covers, it uh, reflects our feelings, our thought, our love, our emotion, our respect for our each other. So, it was initiated in 2015. Uh, the Chinese President, His Excellency Xi Jinping has made a historic address to the joint parliament. I witnessed as a parliamentarian while uh, watching his and listening his uh, speech and there he made this announcement and he said that this is the gift for Pakistan and particularly for you, Mr. Mohammad Nawaz Sharif, the Prime Minister of Pakistan. And we are iron brothers. Yeah. There is yeah. no limit. You cannot gauge it. Uh, it is how much deeper and how it is high. It is ungageable. So this is, I found that it was a turning point or you can say a milestone. Not for Pakistan and China only but for the region, for their prosperity, 
for their bounding for peace and prosperity and for upliftment of common man providing a dream to the youth what you call law jawan yeah. it is a dream it was a dream corridor a dream to learn each other a dream to experience each other a dream to exchange the goods things with each other so now we have to work hard that dream comes true but you know that global politics and regional politics and international politics they dislikes such kind of things and it was a conspiracy of those forces those conspirators in this regard i very closely observed what's ongoing and what's the counterparts and those forces who don't want pakistan and china or the region to be grow what they are planning and doing to make a hurdles for this project right sir my so next question when is that, i yeah. observed this i made a very historic speech on 28 may 2017 and where i say that those who are the conspirators wherever you are in which department you are you are not sabotaging or working against government of pakistan or nawaz sharif but you are sabotaging the pak china economic corridor mm -hmm. cpac and that was very much viral and i pay a very high price for that yes you know that sir uh, my next question is that uh, that uh, you had been a part of uh, past government if uh, your party gain uh, power upcoming or next elections so how do we see the china pakistan friendship over next 10 years or over next 10 years of your party mr saklan the design origin design was it was not a project or a agreement or a contract it was a ongoing relation forever and ever and ever and ever not long lasting or sometime we used to say long lasting and long term no it was not a long term relation or long term uh, uh, corridor it was forever for ever so cpac is our essence yeah cpac is our soul cpac is dream of the youth of this region and not only this region but surrounding regions as well and it is not a matter how we will take it up it will the matter how we will work hard to revise this as soon as possible yeah. because the initial uh, documentary evidence was that by 2030 we will spend this up to that level the physical uh, structure and infrastructure development by 30 2030 there after you will get the fruit of those what you are harvested during this 10 15 years because you get the result because uh, sometime you plan then you execute and sometime you harvest not only in terms of any uh, commodities exchange it is we are exchanging our youth as you are studying in beijing university so when you will be somewhere in power uh, whether you are in the parliament or in the bureaucracy or in a business tycoon that will be the time and then your son Yeah. and your grandson that is the real time to see the full basket of fruits of cpac it is not an overnight but the lights of cpac will definitely uh, reflect from day first and it was a joint dream of 
Mr. Excellency Xi Jinping and Excellency Mr. Nawaz Sharif. And it is also dream of uh, more than one and a half billion people of yes. this region. So I hope that uh, this kind of uh, conspiracy is always, when you will go through the history, you will find such kind of conspiracies uh, happened all over the world. But ultimate, the ultimate goal is the truth, the merit, the goodness, the fear and favor to each other. And I am very much confident that the people of Pakistan has really realizing all these things. And uh, the Chinese people do also understand our, how we are compelled to not accelerate at this time. This project momentum is almost, the hurdles are very much working. But uh, today or tomorrow when the PMLN government, Mohammed Nawashif's government will come in power, uh, rest assured that uh, this project will shine. This will be the only unique project of the universe that people will uh, give an example. They will citing that, look, here is CPAC. Yeah. And then people will... Uh, duplicate us, replicas, and it will be a role model for the, to, for the, for the peace, prosperity, and uh, success, not only of this region, for Asia, for in the entire universe. But we provide, we want to provide a working atmosphere, a friendly and cordial relation, and a future to the have and have-nots, the have-nots of this region the youth of this region. Sir, we are very thankful to you. Uh, I don't think so that I have any other question because I don't think that anybody can describe and define this topic far better than you. Sir, from my behalf and my association, I am very thankful to you. Thank you very much. Young man, uh, I have to add uh, one, two more things. Yeah. That it is not an official government to government relation only. Yeah. It is heart to heart. I have been in China uh, twice, thrice. I'm grateful to the Chinese people and Chinese government. They have invited me as a state guest, one in 2012 uh, by the Communist Party of Paki uh, China. And uh, they invited the PMLN. And I was in one of the delegates of that. Prime Minister Mohammad Nawashi was kind enough that he has nominated me for the delegation. And the second time was somewhere in 19, uh, uh, 2018, uh, or no, 2017 somewhere. And uh, I have been uh, in 10, 12 cities of China. And I highly impressed by the uh, terms, by the, by the livings of Chinese people, by their behavior, by their conduct. I do feel that China is my, not second house, but it is my own house. Yes. So, and I do admire the te technology of Chinese, uh, the think tanks of Chinese, and the Chinese uh, goal to keep this uh, world happy, prosper, not for China only, but for the entire universe, for their neighbors. China want to see everyone prosper, progressive, and happy. And uh, I hope. I'm very much confident that Pakistani people do also realize that this is a, as the West says, this is a global village. The world is a global village. So we want to live and progress together as a common villagers. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very for much, For your sir. time. For your time also. And I foresee that the way you are working, it is a very good thing. Uh, you just uh, making an opinion to the common man of Pakistan and yeah. China and keep up. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank it you. is the need of uh, today yeah. to realize and to uh, educate the common ordinary people. The, what is the fruit bag waiting yeah. for you from CPAC? Thank you. Thank you.